Hey, what's up everybody? Imperial Ace back again for another episode of Surviving Mars. Uh, when we last left off, we were finally starting to look at expanding out a bit. Uh, we've cleared a nice property to build our domes at. We also have a meteor shower incoming. It won't be here for another 10 hours, so hopefully it comes down uh, somewhere else. Not on top of our heads. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Fortunately, we did get that advance warning. Unfortunately, we don't have the technology to really do anything about it yet. Um, we don't have the ability to shoot down any of the any of the incoming meteors. So we'll see if we get lucky. As it was, one of our little drones almost got taken out by a meteor earlier. So, but he did survive. He he lived. Let's go ahead and move them back over here. We're going to start laying out the basically the schematics for our our dome setup here. I really wish I could go with a much bigger dome, but I'm gonna work with what I got. Um, we're gonna go with the barrel dome, and we're just gonna, and we're gonna go from there. I, I don't know. There isn't a whole lot else we can do. So let's see what our, we already know we wanna build down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw down the drone hub. I'm just not gonna assign it any drones yet. Oh, are you fully refueled? You are, awesome. Okay, so then what we're gonna do with you is we're gonna go ahead and do that mission for the satellite because we want some more funding. Bingo. Send the expedition. Awesome, okay, so that will bring us in a bunch more funding, which is good. It will also cost us a lot of electronics, which does kind of suck. Um, but, I mean, there isn't really anything we can do about that at this point. Let's see, yeah. Oh, yeah, from the metals that we exported. Cool. <sighs> yeah, so that'll be good. We'll send him out. Um, that's a lot of concrete. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and expand down here. We're going to... I don't know exactly how I want to do this. How I want to lay out the... Um, how I want to lay out the domes. Because so we've got the barrel dome, and then we've got the basic dome. So we could do a barrel dome with like four basic domes attached. And the problem is, all of these require oxygen and water. And we need more water. We don't have enough. Fortunately, this will be in our range, so I can hopefully just pipe over to it, um, connect it to our existing network, and Bob's your uncle. How much water does a... So up to four for water production, so that should be enough for, well, four domes. But not crops. Hmm. That's going to be the other problem. we got to make sure we've got enough food coming in. Two more farms should probably do it. What, what about our exterior? Our exterior farming facilities. Let's see. We've got the fungal farm, which uses six workers. How much does a normal indoor farm work? Also six. In a single work shift. Base production is six food. Is that per day? I would assume that's per day. If it is per day, that's great. I don't know how much we'll actually use per day, actually. Let's see, does this tell us food consumption? It does, seven per day at the moment. Not bad. Oh man, it's coming. We're gonna have the meteor shower. Vacant residential slots, 29, yeah. All right, cool. Now, how much do our two base... Ah, if I could get to them. There we go. So our small machine parts factory takes three per work shift, nine in total. Produces four machine parts. I do like that. And then our small electronics pack factory... Oh, it consumes rare metals. I forgot about that. Hmm, and it takes 12. 
the polymer factory takes 18. So between the two of those, we probably will only keep one or two shifts active. So eight, 14, okay. Do we have anyone who is unemployed at the moment? No. And this is only producing 2.6 per soul. Oh, all right, here we go. Meteor shower incoming, where is it coming down? It's, it is here, right? There we go. Okay, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. That's far enough away, that's not a problem. Okay, hopefully they stay over there. Yeah, it looks like the majority of them are gonna be coming down over there. That is perfectly fine by me. That is nice and far away. All right. So this consumes metals, this consumes rare metals. What do we have for rare metals again? Oh, we got plenty for now. Um, and then metals, we have quite a stockpile. We have 411 stockpiled. Oh, that's a tornado. That is kind of crap. Right, we need to get those open to stabilize our power. Oh, that's two tornadoes. Why now? Why do you do this to me now? There's an anomaly over there. Cool. Uh, please dissipate. I don't need this right now. I don't need you right now. Go away. <sighs> right when we're finally getting all this squared away and figured out. Urgh. Okay. Well. <laughs> crap. <laughs> <sighs> That's a Hopefully they won't cause us problems. I'm hoping they'll dissipate before actually making it all the way over here. Meteor shower still coming down over there. Ooh, ooh. I don't have our rover over here, do I? No, looks like he's still fine. Where is a rover actually? Oh, he's dropping off. He's dropping off materials. Okay, cool. All right, you go ahead. Just. Just go harvest. I'm not. I'm not dealing with you. You. I thought I already ordered you to do. Are those three tornadoes? Really? Whose idea was this? Bunch of jerks. Bunch of flipping jerks. I right, grab some metals. Drop them off over here. Oh, thank goodness they dissipated. Yeah, meteor storm, meteor showers are long. Holy cow, two days and fourteen hours. All right, well, as long as it stays over there, I'm happy. I'm hunky dory. Let's see, that's still loading up. Ah, oh, it's taking so much of our machine parts. All right, you know what? We're actually going to order up. I don't really like doing this. But I think we're going to have to order up some machine parts. Just to make sure that we have... Oh, man. It's just so expensive. Maybe we won't. We're going to get facilities online to deal with that problem here shortly anyway. So... Meh. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're going to build... How big are these? These are the small ones, right? Yeah, so they're... They are quite tiny. They'll fit. We're gonna go ahead and build them up. Get those going. And polymer factory is an outdoor one, yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we'll be able to establish a nice balance here. With those going and producing a lot of the needed, we won't have a polymer lab, which sucks, but at least we'll have a base supply of machine parts and electronics coming in. Um, and that'll be a really good footing for us. And you know what, I think Do I want to bring in more colonists? How many open? 66. 
Yeah, we're going to bring in another wave of colonists. We're going to do it. No specializations among any of you, huh? Fine. Just do it. But I think we'll have enough food production right now because we're producing 12. At the moment, we're consuming 8. So we are, bur we are burning through quite a bit as we're stockpiling. Um, and we what we may end up doing is just building another... Wait for that to finish, and then power off the building. Wait for that to finish, and then power off the building. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Uh, wow, brain fart. We may end up building another exterior fungal farm. That's what I was going with. That's where my brain was headed. Um, yeah, just so that we can take advantage of what buildings don't require a dome. You just keep raining down over there. You don't come anywhere near me. So at least that this will be a good start for us, um, getting these parts and things going. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward for the moment. Have we finished research on... Not yet, but we're getting close. I'm very excited for when we got them. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and slap a few down. Let's see. So we can put one right there. Another one right there. We can't get up here, but we could still slap down a sensor tower. Too far from working, drone commander. Yeah, I know. But that's not going to be a problem soon. And then we're going to have to wait to build one up here because I'm not doing that while the meteor shower is going. Heck no. And then where is our RC commander? You. We're going to come out and get in position. Where was our first tower? Right there. Now they just require metal to build, right? Yes, one metal. I would imagine there's got to be metal within. Unless I found like the one spot where there's not. I guess there's some right there. Ooh. No, never mind. That's just a rock. I may need to move that one, actually. I wasn't taking into consideration the fact that they will need a metal, and I can't see any of the metal that is in the unexplored areas. Actually, you know what? How much do you have on board? Come unload some metal right there. Just have you go pre-place what we need in anticipation of our success. How are we doing? Sanity's good. Comfort's okay. Morale is not as great. But you're all healthy. And somewhat happy. Somewhat happy, happy people. Building's not working. What is not working? Oh, because you, you aren't on the power grid. That's fine. Power off. I'm going to reassign your drones for the moment to that one. And you've got 10 assigned still. How many do you have? Whoops. 15. I'm going to give three of them. Actually, how many do you have? 12. Yeah, we'll go three. This is the one that has more traffic by it anyway. Well, more stuff going on under its control anyway, so it just makes sense. Let's go ahead. We're going to fast forward. As soon as he's offloaded one metal. Looks like he offloaded two. Eh, it's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Unload here. Oh, okay, good. I thought that was right by a twister. I was like, mm, maybe not. Maybe I won't send you there right now. Let's check on our meteor shower, make sure it's staying put. Oh, okay. 
it's kind of working our way a little bit. I don't like that. I want it to stay. I want it to stay where it is. It does not need to come over here. How close are we? I wish it would say 80% progress. So we need what? 200 more research. We're so close. And even more tornadoes. What is going on? Is it just because there's a meteor shower now everything has to hit the fan? Is that what's going on here? Is that how this works? We get one disaster, so we gotta get them all? I see how it is. I see how it is. Bunch of jerks. Okay. How have you not launched yet? Oh, you don't, you're not even done refueling? Come on. Come on, man. Wait for you to unload one. Oops. May have jumped the gun. Come on. Unload. Ah, crap. You have more metal on board. I know you can do it. Fine, we'll send them further away and see if that fixes it. You stay away from my rover. You stay away from my colony. I don't need any of this bad stuff. you unload your resources I am telling you to unload your resources Fine. we'll see if maybe I can tell him to grab some metal and then after he grabs some maybe that'll fix whatever the bug is with unloading it hey there goes a rocket to go make us a bunch of money Oh, and it redistributed the drones. Interesting. Now they're all busy doing their stuff. Oh man, you just stay away. I do not need that garbage right now. Ooh, but it did deposit some polymer. I will take that. Are you tornadoes, are you getting too close? Yeah, you're getting too close. Time to go. Come on, load up quick. Oh, balls. Well, phooey. That did not go according to plan. Shoot. And I don't really have a way to repair him. Waiting for repairs, yeah. Did all of your drones get knocked out too. Oh, did that actually work? Oh, it looks like only two of the drones got taken out. Oh, ha ha! Saw on that tornado. You blow, man. Freaking jerk. <laughs> oh, man, that actually worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, yes. We got so lucky right there. Oh, is that our colonists? It is. Come on down. And please avoid the meteors. Those aren't great. I'm not particularly thrilled about them. 
giant hurtling fireballs wanting to take out my my peeps. It's not good. I don't like it. Okay, cool. I was a little worried there for a second. Oh, seriously? It requires electronics too? Fudge. Seriously? How did I not... Does the... I don't suppose the research changes it so it doesn't cost anything. No longer require power or maintenance, no, but it still takes electronics. Biscuits. Alright. Dagnabbit. Dagnabbit. Will you unload the resources? Nope. He just doesn't want... Alright, fine. We're just gonna do this then. It'll make him easier to find anyway. Alright, where's the next one? I think it was over here somewhere. Yes, right there. Not quite how I'd want to go about this, but I have been left with no choice. Alright, now we've got some extra colonists, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, do we want to power that? Yeah, we really should. We're going to do... One afternoon shift and one morning shift. So power it on. Power it on. Where's our power at after that? How much power do you take? Four power for you. And Eighteen power for you. Ouch. Alright, well. What's your production from mach machine parts? Produced. 0.7 predicted. How much is it costing us? 0.7. So you're... You're it, it producing exactly what you're... Ugh. Let's open up a second shift. Actually, we'll open it up in the evening. Get some more production going. Hmm... Not working in Home Dome. Oh, and it's because of the specialization biscuits. Because they're scientists, not engineers or anything like that. Yeah. Fudge. And then you guys. Wait, so even if they don't have a specialization? They... Oh, you freaking... <sighs> yeah, we're going to need a university at some point. Man, that stuff's coming out everywhere. And we're still not done with our research yet. Where's our rover? Oh, rover! Where, where'd you go, rover? Oh, boy. Stop blowing holes in my landscape. I don't like it. We still got three people unemployed. How do we still have three people unemployed? Unemployed seeing work three. Yeah, how is that the case? Because we've got... Okay, there we go. One of them, One of them got himself figured out. We got 0.7 maintenance, 0.7 maintenance, 0.4 maintenance versus 1.2 production and 0.5 production. Mm. Okay, we're going to need more electronics than that. Yeah, I know there's an inactive work shift. There's a couple inactive work shifts. Thank you very much.
How do we still have three unemployed? We should not have three unemployed. Point seven predicted production. Okay, cool. Three disabled work slots, three vacant work slots. Two unemployed. Hmm. Where are our vacant work slots? Oh. Hmm. Our farmers have abandoned their jobs. They've abandoned their posts. Why? Yeah, I know free work slots produce performance. Weird. All right. Oh, no. That was not great. Oh. Stay away, you freaking meteors. Crap, it's slowly working its way our direction. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Oh, and we are at negative 18 power. We need to address that. Yeah, this isn't going to be ideal. Because it looks like the meteor shower is slowly working its way in our direction. Oh, a new anomaly, though. I'm cool with oh, and it's right by our... Oh, balls. That's going to cause problems. Not much I can do about it. That's going to be expensive. Oh, new planetary anomalies. Cool. <sighs> Shoot. That's going to come down. Probably disable that. Break those. It's going to be great. Mm. Yep. All right, drones. Get to work, please. That's a lot of damage. <sighs> Shoot. Oh, yeah, that's gonna cause some some problems for our residents. Come on guys, get everything fixed, please. have the resources to get it all fixed. Why are you not fixing it all? Oh, shit. You unload your resources. Should I just come over here for now? Oh, come on, get this fixed. We need we need our life support and stuff back on in there. Oh, biscuits. We need everything back on in the dome. We need this fixed. Thank you. Now get the piping fixed. As those drones... <laughs> oh, those drones are just going to eat it. They are going to eat an asteroid. <laughs> Leak detected. Oh, you don't say. I had no idea. Oh, wow. We got really lucky right there. Come on, get this fixed, guys. Don't make me manually order you. Yeah, it should be top priority. And you've got plenty of drones. Why are you not fixing it? What are you doing? not working. Why? Why is it not working? Oh, because we don't have enough. Ugh. Fine. <sighs> the 
dehydration. Oh my. Yeah, I know. We're getting it fixed. Oop, you need to move. Now that we've got that under control. Yeah, these meteors are just all sorts of inconvenient, aren't they? <sighs> Shoot. Oh. oh, that poor drone. And it's been completely destroyed. Yeah, that's great. Not letting that happen again. None of our drones will be in direct firing range of that this time. Oh, nuts. All right, well, fortunately, this one has a vast surplus of drones, so we'll be able to get it repaired quickly. Yeah, this is not ideal. Wow, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I expected. Cool. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, how's the... Where's our... You need to offload now. Unload. Oh, we need electronics for the satellites. We don't have very many. All right. You've got 11 rare metals. That should cover... Uh-oh. Why is our water production so much under what it should be? Pause. What's going on, guys? Crap. All right, well, this episode's gone a little bit long, so we're probably going to have to call it here. It, tune into the next one. I'm going to figure out what's going on with our water production and see if we can actually make it through this meteor shower. It has caused us problems. So throw a like if you like the video down below. Uh, comment if you think that this meteor shower has tipped the scales and is now dooming our... Oh, that's why we... Oh, because that leak hasn't been fixed yet. Fix the leak! Um, comment down below if you think we're doomed now that we're facing this meteor shower and it's going to tip the scale back against us. Um, and tune into the next one to see if we make it through the meteor shower and actually succeed in spite of all this. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Ace out.